What is you guys' take on this? What do you think about training in the trucking industry? What do you think we should do better? What do you think we should change? What do you think is good now? Driving with John is coming through! Hey everybody, welcome to Driving with John. So, I heard a story about a Western Express driver that has only been driving for about 30 days. He's had three backing accidents and Western Express fired him. And now he can't get a job anywhere, obviously. So, you know, I could comment a lot about that, but I'm gonna leave that behind for a minute. The reason why I brought it up was because I wanna talk about training and trucking. It's kind of crazy because I gotta tell you my backstory and then maybe we'll talk about like, uh, you know, why it's become what it has. But, um, so when I first started in trucking, um, I went to a company, they put me through a school, and I trained with them for about two weeks. And then, um, we'll just say me and them split ways. It's a nice way to say it. <laughs> um, I didn't do anything wrong, and they didn't do anything wrong. It was just not a good, not a good mesh for me and the company. So, um, I went to another company. So, I had two weeks training at my first company. And it actually was more like a week's training, to be honest with you. The first week didn't really uh, train much. Um, so I went to my next company and I went out with a trainer and I was out with them for about six days. So now you're really talking technically about two weeks training. They gave me keys to a truck and told me to start driving. Now I'm lucky that I'm older and understand the responsibility of driving us on my truck. So what I didn't know, I taught myself I mean, while I was doing that, I drove extremely defensively, stayed away from people, you know, got out and looked every chance I could, made sure I didn't make mistakes. You know, now we're talking five, six years later, I've never, never really, um, never had a, a citation or an accident that was my fault. So, this, this driver, it kind of hit me kind of hard because, um, obviously he wasn't trained well. I mean there's there's only two choices here either he wasn't trained well or he's not good at his job and either one could be true but if you haven't been trained well you're going to do a lot of stupid mistakes especially if you're young and impatient and you push yourself to do things that you shouldn't be doing um so in our industry the standard now is get him in the door train him for a week and give him keys that is the standard and I think that is what's wrong with the trucking industry today. Um, they made it harder to get CDLs, but easier to get on the road once you have one. And I think, you know, about harder to get CDLs. I'm, I could six and one half dozen, the other doesn't matter to me. But the training on the road, um, from talking to some old timers, I guess they used to train people for like, you know, a month, two months, three months. And I think that makes a lot more sense because you can't learn how to drive a semi-truck in a week. Like you can literally drive a semi-truck in a week, but you're not gonna actually fully understand how to drive one in a week. It's just not possible. You can't learn everything you need to know. You can't perfect your craft in a week, or even honestly in three months. I mean, I'm still perfecting my craft after five years, and I don't think I'll ever be done perfecting my craft, but when you're getting a younger crowd of truckers coming in and they're they're eager, which is good, and then you train them for a week and give them keys and say, oh, you know what you're doing. It creates this false confidence where mistakes can happen and people can die. So I wanted to make a quick video about, you know, about training and that's my opinion. I've told you my opinions. I'm real curious what your opinions are. Make sure you comment below. Um, and tell me what your opinions are about this. Because I think training techniques have to get better. But the reason why they won't is because trucking companies aren't worried about safety anymore. It's all about the bottom dollar. It's a revolving door, you come in, you drive for as long as you can before you make a mistake, they get rid of you, they bring another guy in, and meanwhile they're just cycling money off of loads and off of leasing out the trucks. And yes, the larger par portion of their earnings is leasing off the trucks, but it's not about safety. It's not about the trucking industry. It's not about any of that. See, in the old days, 
people cared about trucking when they got into it. It was, it was something to be proud of. It was a professional driver. And that's how I look at it. I think I'm kind of like old school, new school type. You know, I'm, I'm older, so I understand the responsibilities behind it. And I understand the uh, importance of my industry and how important it is that I represent my inter industry correctly. Where new guys coming in, they don't get that. They're younger. It's a new generation of people that are just get it done, get in, get it out. The five second, you know, 15 second generation. It's, they, they expect everything to happen quickly. Well, trucking is not one of those things you can rush. You have to be patient. You have to, you have to know where to be and how to be there. And, and just everything is about patience. As much as you don't want it to be, that's really what it is. On the road, you have to be patient with other drivers. You have to leave a lot of space. When you get to shippers, you have to be patient to be loaded. When you get to receivers, you have to be patient to be unloaded. You know, and if you treat people horribly in that process, things aren't going to go well for you. So, what is you guys' take on this? What do you think about training in the trucking industry? What do you think we should do better? Or what do you think we should change? What do you think is good now? You know, I'd like to hear all of those things in the comment section below. Um, just do me a favor, everybody. Share this on all of your social media. Make sure that you hit that thumbs up. You subscribe on YouTube and you ring the bell so that you get notified whenever I post. And on Facebook, make sure that you follow my page, you like my page, you like this video. And guys, I just appreciate all the support I've been getting recently. My channel on YouTube and on Facebook have been going absolutely nuts lately and I really love it. Um, so that's my video for today. Just wanted to talk about some training, throw my opinion out there, see what you guys thought about it. Um, all right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. To all my trucking buddies out there, make sure you keep your rubber on the road. Keep those tires turning, stay right side up. To all my non-trucking buddies out there, followers, subscribers, I appreciate that you guys watch. I really do. And if you feel like you want to weigh in, don't feel like you shouldn't because you're not a trucker. You know, what's your opinion? What do you think? is important when you see a truck down the road important for you as a four-wheeler what, what what's important for you I, I would like to know that too so all right guys everybody thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video